Today I will be showing you how to draw a popsicle using watercolors and colored pencils. To start, tape a piece of watercolor paper down to your table. It's important to use watercolor paper because it's thick and will hold up with the amount of water. Regular paper would crumble. Draw out an ironing board shape and have a stick sticking out of it. It should look like that outline in the corner. Erase the harsh lines so they're lighter. Try not to erase too much because it flattens the grooves of the paper. Next, draw two elongated oval shapes in the center of the popsicle. The ovals are pictured in the corner. Be sure the ovals are spaced evenly. Now on to the watercolor. This is only going to be a base coat for the colored pencil, so don't worry too much about it. Choose a base color. It can be any color as there are a lot of interesting flavors out there. The watercolors I'm using are from Crayola. Yes, Crayola. Coat the whole popsicle in that color. Go in with a darker version of the color and add the shadows. This will make it dimensional. Continue adding shadows along the shadowy side of the popsicle. One side will be lighter than the other because of the light. Add shading to one side of the ovals. This will give it dimension and make it look like craters. Okay, well maybe not on the moon. The shaded side should be the same side as the shadows are on the popsicle. Continue adding layers of watercolor, letting it dry after each coat to darken the shadows. In this painting, the sun is coming from the top left. The sun will hit the top of the popsicle on the right side, making it lighter than the rest. This is the highlight. The side closest to the sun would not get any sun, thus creating a shadow. Continue to add shadows. As you can see, I'm dabbing the color to create a gradient effect from dark to light. Use short brush strokes to blend the color. Now use a tan color to paint the stick. No, not the stick from a tree, a popsicle stick. Use brown to add shading. Now you may be saying the stick has no dimension. It's flat. Well, it actually has shadows cast upon it from the popsicle. Sketch out a shadow. Remember where your light source is coming from. You'll want your shadow to go the opposite direction from the light. Use black to fill in the shadow. This is supposed to be black, but it looks brown. The shadow should be dark because, well, it's a shadow. Let the painting dry. This shouldn't take too long since watercolors are water-based. When it's dry, use colored pencils to add more dimension. I'm using Arteza colored pencils this time. 
They aren't the woodless ones, but you can check out our review I did of them in the card above. A lot of time, blending, and shading later, this is what I have. Add the final touches. Use a tan to add shadows for the popsicle stick. Use a dark color such as black to color the shadow. This brings more depth to the drawing and makes it look more realistic. It also makes the drawing pop. Use darker versions of the colors you used to outline the popsicle in order to make it stand out. Next, use white acrylic paint to make the highlights. This gives it a cartoony look, so feel free to skip this if you want it to look more realistic. Peel off the tape. This is really satisfying because it's so smooth when it peels off. Sign off if you wish. Here is the final result. Ew. Is that a popsicle? It's mine. Nom. Nom. Nom.